Okay, welcome back to the Tetmoto channel and the next video in the Jarvis robot build. So today we're hooking everything up. We're getting all the cables from our um, uh, flaps on the back, all of the LEDs, the tri-color LEDs that change color, all of the servos, um, the, the eyes, the light in his chest. We're taking it all apart. We're running all those wires into a... Um, one central nervous system, I guess, if you like, and hooking that up to a Raspberry Pi. Um, and then the hope is that we'll be able to go onto the computer, we'll be able to do some programming, we'll be able to turn those lights on and off and the servos on and off and get it all working together sweetly. Now that's a huge amount of work, it's a lot of wires. Um, and so getting that neat and tidy and understandable so when you go back into it later when there's a problem, you can find the right wire and you can fix it, that's a real challenge. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, hopefully get it up and running so we can see how um, how it looks, how it works when we've got smoke and lights and flaps opening and all sorts of cool stuff. So let's get to it. So we've uploaded a program into uh, Jarvis to control the back flaps. Um, and what I've done is I've translated the pulse to an angle. So what I can do now is I've just put a simple program in that just says, uh, give me an angle, hit enter, and I'll go to it. So what I can do is I can just put it in a random angle and it'll move to that angle. Um, I can then put in another angle and I'll move to that angle. So what that enables me to do is um, get it sort of close to where it's joining the body and I can just keep adding little bits. Ooh, let's put it up uh, a couple. Yeah, uh, let's put it up a few more. There you go. So that angle is it closed. And then um, I can just put the angle in that I started with. And then I can see how far I can push it out. No, it doesn't like that. So that's the max. So that's the max angle. And the max angle closed is that. So I can go that and and it works. So what I've got to work out is where my um, angles are for each one of these on the servos because they'll be in slightly different places and once I've got those angles I can program in them into the computer and then I can just give them a, um, a function like open flap close flap and I can assign that angle to each flap what I can then do is I can thread the program so I can make all four flaps open at the same time that's the next job <laughs> Okay, so what we've basically managed to do here is bypass the switch with these two little wires here and then I've managed to put uh, a power supply on here that comes off instead of going through a USB. So just by touching these two wires together now, 
I can get the smoke to come out. So all I've got to do is take these two wires to a relay, hook that relay up to the Raspberry Pi, Re Raspberry Pi will be connected to the, uh, the computer, and then I'll be able to send some, uh, uh, some code from the computer to the robot, which I'll turn the steam on. It's all good. Okay, strange question. What has an Iron Man robot got to do with Yakult? Well, <laughs> here's the answer. Crazy invention. But I have made a little gadget using a Yakult pot, which was the perfect size for um, producing steam. I put my piezo transducer on top, put the oscillating circuit on the side, and this is what it does. So I have a unit that I can put in behind the little flaps, and if I press this on button here, just with five volts, I get some quite cool vapor, which is enough to come out of uh, the robot vents. If I make four of those, I think that'll do the trick. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, hook this up, I'm gonna insert into the robot, um, wire it up, and then I'm gonna get the vent to open and the smoke to come on. That's pretty cool. Okay, so flap opens, power comes on, smoke comes out. Power off, flap goes down, job done. Okay, we finally have our flap opening and closing, we have smoke, we have lights, we have it all. Check that out. Right, so that's it for this one. Um, in the next one we'll get all the other flaps working, we'll put a bit more smoke in there. Um, lots of messing about uh, with wires and tidying up this mess. Um, get it all packed in and looking nice. And then um, get the arms on and start working on the arms, I guess. Okay, see you in the next one.